Hey y'all, so today I'm coming to you with a hair tutorial slash wig demo review or whatnot. So I know you dolls are definitely familiar with Irresistible Me. I've featured their hair probably like twice or three times. Like I've used two sets of their different clippings. The um they have like a voluminous vixen or voluminous clippings and they have their regular um, royal rummy clippings which I have done that review and I do like those clippings I colored them different styles different ways or whatnot they do sell full lace wigs which I am rocking today it's my very first time trying ears with the Bumi's, um full lace wig so let's get into the specs of this here we have three well three combs uh, one comb and two wig clips um, then we have the adjustable strap which actually broke on me so I just tied it together um, see, I'm just going to apply my wig. It did come with a um, stocking cap as well, which um, came in handy. So, um, the knots obviously seem to be bleached because it's actually showing on top of a black cap. So, what we're going to do is basically line up the parting. I like to wear mine pushed back because I have a widow's peak. Um, yeah, just to give it a more natural feel. I did add rooting to it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use the clips to clip down the hair, but I did air rooting to it with some eyeliner, which I definitely need to get some um, hair dye because I can't walk around with eyeliner in my hair. So I'm just going to bobby pin the edges for extra security. And yeah, just give it a nice natural look. You can see the edges. I, I tried to cut it evenly, but yeah. So I'm going to lay down my baby hairs with my Manoa Oil Edge Control, which the little baby hairs I have out, I don't know. Yeah, um, side note, the wig does come with baby hairs. Um, I just, after I washed the hair, I put some foam and I styled it going back and baby hairs are in there somewhere. You'll probably see them. So we're going to basically cut some layers into this hair because it is extremely long, 24 inches. And I wanted to frame my face a little bit so I can have a different um, look, you know, when I curl the hair instead of just being like straight down. The hair density is 150, which is extremely thick and extremely long. So I kind of want to shear a little bit of it out. Not so much, but um, just shear it out a little bit. Kind of give it an edgy, uneven type look or whatnot so I'm just going to shear and keep framing the face After I cut the ends, I want to make the wig look a little more natural, which is already natural. I did not tweeze the parting. I just basically parted the hair and went like that. I'm adding some concealer to the root, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, the curling wand I'm using is another brand. My actual resistible me curling wand set is somewhere in the boxes because I'm in the process of moving and yeah, everything's stored away. So my curling wand stuff is like in a box somewhere. Yeah. So I'm just using this alternative one, which I will have um, a link below for the Irresistible Me um, curler set, which come with different heads and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to wand curl the rest of this hair. just separating the curls the hair is extremely extremely silky um, I'm just gonna separate it to give it more volume and I think as it gets older I think the hair will get enough like puffy or whatnot but I'm just separating the curls give it a little more volume and judge to the hair so yeah I do like this hair it curls very well as you can see I need to get my back area real good but yeah I do like it I will have links below where you can purchase this wig and their curler set as well and links below to the rest of my other irresistible me um, videos that I've done. So hope you all enjoyed this quick little video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.